Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Swiss Cheems, finally back with another draft. Got a little tired of MKM, but it looks like they have a different draft format on here. A Premier Remix Draft Artifacts. And yeah, it looks like they pulled cards through all the formats on MTGA and made a artifact-themed draft. You can see all the archetypes there. But yeah, let's just jump in and hopefully get some gems back. Back one, pick one. Herald of Anguish. Improvised artifacts can help you cast a spell. Each artifact you tap pays for one. Five mana, five, five flying. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent discards a card. Sacrifice an artifact. Target creature gets minus two, minus two. That seems insane. We descended, create a treasure. I'm sure Siren is great in this format. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact or enchantment, put one of them into your hand. It's pretty good as well. Library Premier card, reveal it, put it in your hand. Here, the wrestler is great. Got a couple of counters. I think white, green is counters. Like, it's not really artifact themed, but yes. The Herald of Anguish is a great pick one. Could just take a great removal spell here. Captain Storm. Ditch. Just ditch our rare and. <laughs> Force the blue red artifacts. I think I'm just gonna take the bolt. I'm sure this disenchant is also very good. Oh, here's a payoff for the counters as well. What is modular? Whenever you cast a spell other than your first spell each turn, put a plus one plus one counter on this. And it's edge of the battlefield with two counters. When it dies, you may put its counters on another target artifact creature you control. This Captain Storm is so tempting. Sacrifice another creature. This has plus two, plus two. Okay. Voltage Surge and a Blood and Drink Pirate. This only sacks creatures, right? Oh, and Artifact. The Infiltrator would be really good too, and just try to get all the sack stuff. All three of these cards are very good for the deck. Probably want the surge. We can just take the infiltrator and force. We have two cards that sack now. Just pick all the infiltrator ups and then, and hope we get there. I don't know if this is correct, but ooh, I'm sure these uh, artifact lines are very good as well. Mana modular, another owl. All right, now we need stuff that actually makes artifacts. The Mutt is an artifact, some value that we can reoccur and sack. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Over the Minstrosity, which makes a food. Chain the Mirrors might have been okay too. Maybe start wheeling them, make us start picking these up. Tax each turn. If able, it doesn't untap during your untap. Whenever a creature, whenever another creature dies, it's untapped. Looks like we've got some clue stuff in blue. Could also take the song shaper, but the mutt keeps us a little bit more open. Yeah, three infiltrators and just start picking up some artifacts to sack. I think we have a game plan at least. Prolifer proliferates. This makes a 1-1 artifact, it is an artifact, and then you can sack it to make another artifact. Or we could take the aggro raider. It's like white, or blue-white is a little open as well. And let's take the knot for some synergy purposes.
It's not bad. Are we red, black, or white, black? I'll take the song shaper for now. Pretty late wrestler. But none of the stuff sacks. I guess this sacks. Yeah, let's take the map here. I guess these don't sack things either. It's a whenever you sack another permanent. Well, maybe this puzzle knot is. Oh, I guess you can still sack itself. It's a real late disenchant. And a late stern lesson. I'm assuming this is probably just amazing in this format. Oh, that might have been good. Didn't have time. Finish reading it. This enters a battlefield. You may search your library for an artifact card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. Sacrifice an artif artifact, return target artifact with converted mana value 3 or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. There's an automaton. This card is just too good. Ooh. I think we can wheel that. <laughs> um, how many artifacts do we have right now? Four? So whenever you cast an artifact spell too, not when you make an artifact. I don't know, War 2 and it grows. Uh, I think it's just too good to take. Or sack for a Mirrodin card. Chase to take the bridge, maybe here. Cloud Guard is probably good as well. This is probably fine too because it makes a map. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we take the companion here because it makes a artifact for our infiltrators and. It's an artifact for our um, automaton. Fatal push. Probably a little better than the Kieran, I think. Three to flyer though. Some added tags. Ah, let's just take the Kieran. Maybe we are going slightly into white now. Maybe we can wield the citizen's arrest or the fatal push, but unlikely. Yeah, let's just take that rare. Okay, this lets me sack things. Okay, okay. I see sacrifice. When it enters the battlefield, if a permanent you control left the battlefield target, creation of that seems really good for us. Good, good. It's almost there. What do we have to actually sack? So we got one, two, three cards that can sack stuff. Companion makes something that's four, and the puzzle not five. Nuzzle, another, another, another. Another puzzle not might be okay here. Juggernaut could be okay as well. We can make it real cheap. But the synergy on the Puzzle Knot is very good in this deck, so. Take it, question mark? Whenever another creature you control dies, create a treasure token. I mean, we can sack treasures, so. Maybe? Let's 
Sack a 1-1, one, one, get a treasure, sack a treasure, get a couple counters on the Infiltrator. See some ways of popping up. Okay, okay, the Apple, it's a steal something. And then we can sack it, right? Okay. Another improvised card. Wow, this is probably pretty good. 5-5 five, five, that can't be blocked by artifact creatures. But steel effect is too good in our deck, I think. Second companion? Is that better than the fourth infiltrator? Maybe? I think this card's very good in our deck. <laughs> I might just be completely wrong, but... Crew 1, 4, 3? Probably not. No! Now I kind of wish I took the fourth infiltrator. Dang it. Rebooter, another Mutt. God Warden. It's plus, plus plus X plus X, where X is the number of equipped creatures. This power is four or greater draw a card. So I'm looking at the Mutt again. Because when we unearth it, we sack it, right? Oh no, it, it exiles it, so we'd need another sack outlet for that. Rebooter is also probably fine, because it makes a treasure and a prize us one when it dies. I don't know. <laughs> oh no. This is very good for us. So it's a pirate. Okay, what do we have for white, really? Just the Karen and the Disenchant? Okay, maybe your red is probably just better. Take the pirate here. Nah, let's take the Apprentice. Get the bolt back in. Run the bridge. Very light on removal, though, right? That actually might be a pretty big problem. <laughs> no creature an opponent controls dies, put a counter on this. Sacrifice another creature, this gains indestructible. I mean, it's another sack outlet. I think our deck's pretty good, but we just don't have enough removal. Each player sacrifices three creatures. I don't think we go wide enough for that. Sure, this is pretty good. How many artifacts do we have now? 12 artifacts. Create a power stone. Sacrifice a creature. I think we got too many sack outlets and not enough things to sack all of a sudden. Another infiltrator. Or we could just take the minstrosity, which makes us a food to sack. Might just need this mire over at the enforcer. It's probably pretty cheap in this deck too. Now we do need things to sacrifice. Here's a thing to sacrifice. There's a thing that makes an artifact that you can sacrifice as well. Like the Deadly Dispute. Ah, maybe Deadly Dispute is better in this deck. We don't have that many non-creatures. Can't really unearth that. But it does make a 1-1 one -one to sack. This makes a bunch of 1-1s one as well. Keep our curve a little bit lower, I guess. Also not our free booter. I think because we have two puzzle nuts, I'll take the free booter. Really gonna have to. Ooh, good. Good one. Or 
pretty pretty hard hit. I don't think we need another sack outlet. We have like a million, I think. I'm gonna be completely wrong, but I think we have approximately one million in our deck. <laughs> Alright, let's look at this. Do we have like ten thousand two drops? I really wish I could have fatal push. You'll probably go 16 land with the map. So I'm gonna make four cuts. So we got, I think we keep all our threes. They can all like sack stuff for free. And the these make maps which you can sack as well. It's all very nice. I like the the plunder thunder rear as well because it lets us sack something, get our treasure, and sack something again to trick out the four infiltrators. The Tomton's great. Oh, I realize we cannot stack these without. Yeah, these puzzle notes are a little worse because we don't have white. Oops. <laughs> don't really have much to replace that. Okay, that is an issue. I'm not going to lie. But maybe we run one of them still just because it's an artifact and it still makes a 1-1. One -one. run one emergency well instead of two. Oh, I have so many creatures. I should probably cut some creatures. This only sacrifices creatures, not artifacts. So maybe you could cut this. Is that weird? I don't like kind of minstrosity because it does make a sackable artifact. The mire actually goes pretty hard. <laughs> it does what the puzzle not supposed to do. Uh, losing a free sack is kind of bad for the apple, though. We cut one well. I think it's pretty good, though, in this deck. This is tough. We still want those cards in. Okay, what doesn't synergize? Honestly, I guess the mutts aren't 100% necessary. I am getting a little lower on my artifacts, though. The automaton. I, just, I don't think I can cut this. I think this card's just way too good. What if I just go like this and run 41 cards? Ah. Uh, cut. What do we cut? Let's run 41 or cut something. I don't really want to cut more artifacts. Don't want to cut any of my threes. I really want to pop off with the Blunderer. I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut the Yanni. And then for lands. We only have three red spells, so we don't really need this many red sources, do we? There we go, nine. Still seven red sources. They're almost monoblock here. Without removal. 
Oh yeah, let's just let's just jump into it. I've spent way too much time making this deck. We're on the play, but we didn't get any of our four two drops that grow. Getting the name. Yeah, that's okay. We can sack the map and get the rebuilt, right? Yeah, that's really good. Excuse me, where's our two drops? He <laughs> said to find another black source. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, investigate. Honestly, just reading that is probably good enough to make me want to kill it. It's a little unfortunate losing a free sack though. Oh, this card's sick. Do I just bolt for that? To prevent the investigate? I think I like developing up my board this turn and maybe next turn going companion plus the bolt. I'm a little worried about some fatties as well. Maybe I just bolt the flyer now, get in for a bunch of damage. Sacrifice an artifact of a creature. Yeah, let's just push in for damage. Maybe the apple steal something for a kill soon. Can sack and make them lose three life in the same turn as well. Defender. Archer right, gets plus two. Oh, if I sacrifice something. Maybe we start with... Can sack an emergency well, but that's not great. Oh, these guys are artifacts. Hmm. I think the land is pretty bad. Maybe it exile the top part of my library. <laughs> this 2 1 isn't doing much on the ground, right? Oh god, being a little too aggressive. Really hoping to hit something, some kind of sack effect. <laughs> now they might stabilize, which is a little scary. It's 3 3 really, really walled us though. Oh, maybe I. Oh, I should have attacked with the Vengeful because if it traded, I could have brought it back and killed something. Yeah, I should have attacked with the Rebel plus the Thopter there. Instead of trying to be all cute. <laughs> Alright, they're over it anyways. Alright, lots of cards I, I, I forgot. Alright, these are all new cards to me. Alright, don't be mean. <laughs> but yeah, nice. 1-0 start. Let's keep going. On the play. We have our Infiltrator. We have a Sack Target. Might need a little bit more lands. And we also have a way to Sack, which is nice. All nice stuff here. The opponent's on red, so this is gonna get shocked. Nope, we're good. <laughs> it's actually gonna get bolted. It lived. 
Touche. Bro. Issue is, I don't have <laughs> removal in my deck, really, so... <laughs> They might be winning this race. Let's draw two cards, make some treasures. That is what we need. steal the patchwork we might be able to sack it that's dealing five damage yeah you gotta have something there's no way they'd attack like that right I've got to assume they have something here. Maybe they didn't, but wow. Or maybe they're more afraid of mine than I, than they should be. Three, four, five, six, seven, and go plundering plus companion using both our treasures though. Don't love using our treasures, so maybe start off with this. These lands. I think we're cooked. <laughs> I think we're in trouble. Take six, yeah. <laughs> That's not what we needed. But now I think we just play this plus the plunderer and pass. Won't sack our treasure to use the map. Hey, sack effect. Sack effect. <laughs> One time. chance maybe the two five relevant if I steal their automaton and swing out Not quite. Okay, let's start growing the infiltrator then. I think I will make the plunderer a bigger booty. Patch though. Return up to two tar creatures from your graveyard to your hand. <laughs> I 
God dang it, dude. Really? Oh, but we can actually bolt their automaton next turn and it exiles. I think we save 4 HP. I don't like trading my infiltrator for both. This gives them their mutt back, but I guess that's okay. Like they can trade with the mutt and bring it back with the fountain. Still looking for a sack outlet for this apple. But we are getting kind of close. Just killing them by stealing a creature. Sacrifice another creature, no. <laughs> Do we have lethal on the backswing? We take their two, we attack with all, they block here, they take four, six, nine damage? We don't. Also, don't want to take four damage. <laughs> Plus one in menace. Okay. Oh, they take five, nine. No, they take four, six, nine damage. I can put them to three, and it's close. This grows, I don't want to trade it off. But their menace is really scary next turn. Does it give haste as well? It does. I really don't like this. Oh god, I'm doing it. It's not a bad draw. <laughs> They've done this beforehand, but oh well. Kidding. <laughs> We're gonna draw land anyways, I guess. They don't have lethal somehow. They have to tap this, right? Nope. They don't have to tap that. Oh no. Okay. So close yet so far. I take that. I can hit him. Are we dead on the backswing though? Okay, wait, I steal this, right? Right, I steal it. And then I can back. Oh, that doesn't work. I don't have enough mana to steal and activate and because I gotta use my treasure. Puts them to one, right? If they don't block, they they lose a creature. They... <laughs> I think it's still right to do this now. Because they're forced to pump, which is some damage off their board. Oh. <laughs> Alright, two wins. Am I playing optimally? Probably not. Probably not. But we are we are definitely getting there. Ah, our opponent is already sweating. Three tanned. 
don't have ways to buff the automaton right now, though. Probably start off with the tap line anyways. We're not sacking the freebooter right away. You can you can pick your hand, man. Don't don't let the card slip out of your hands, please. Opponent mulliganed. Love to see it. All right, gotta draw some artifacts, spells, and start buffing our automaton. Red, white, land. Might have to sack this freebooter, but I kind of want to save the deadly dispute with the apple. Do expect some to see some big creatures and some red green. They're probably modified counters and stuff. Well, they're definitely counters. Into the battlefield, put a plus on plus on counter on target creature. And then delirium. At the upkeep, you can put a plus on plus on counter on target creature, sure. I guess we don't have to. Dispute quite yet. We can just play a 1 4 next turn. Oh, don't, don't, oh, 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 that was, uh, that was scary for a second. Drew an artifact array. Switch the land. Okay. I don't think we're gonna win this long game, but we might get some synergies popping off pretty soon. Good four two. That's a great card to steal. Definitely attack my much here and get a treasure. It probably won't block, so it's probably be two damage. We save that for now. Oh, maybe it does give us treasure guaranteed. Dang it. Yeah, if I play that, I got a treasure guaranteed and I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. No, it exiles, right? Never mind. It doesn't die. It exiles. Okay. Just kidding. Super prank. <laughs> Should probably just do this now, right? Yeah, pretty good right now.
Oh, I gotta pay. Okay, I got the panic for a second. I gotta pay before I select raid. All right. Let's see what we. What do we want two counters on? The three five on the ground is really really good. Or we can just make our automaton huge. You know what? The other ones already grow. Oh, it has to be an artifact creature. <laughs> just kidding. Ranked. Got a plus one, plus one counter yet. And I don't think I want to use the treasures just yet. But yeah, we're popping. We're doing it. The infiltrators, automaton. Plunderer, it's all great. Prototype A. Okay, let's start with with the mutt. It's probably worth it. Makes that a 6-6. Six, six. And I think we can start attacking, right? Because they at least have to double block both the infiltrators because I have the treasure token. And we can get something back. I'm okay with this. We just hold on to this emergency weld for now. But yeah, with the apple, we definitely have lethal nice three L balance. You know what, even if we lose the next three games, at least we got that, um, the synergy popping off in that game. And my dog is dog. Dog? My dog is going wild in the back, so give me a second. Yeah, another great looking hand. I think we start off on the Automaton. Into Companion. But yeah, this is... Oh, <laughs> great synergy in this hand. We are on the draw against a likely aggro deck. Wish I had a way to kill that right now. But I don't, so here we go. Ooh, these two mana two two modular is insane, right? It's a bear and it moves this counter when it dies and it grows. This is a common? I think I overlooked this card. Uh oh. Dead because we're on the draw question mark. So we wanna make sure we can sack something next turn. This tap line is a problem. I think we play the companion and hope to draw. A land so we can go sack plus the rebel before this gets too big. This only gets minus three, minus three, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They can go off. No blocks. <laughs> Alright, land. Okay, very good, very good.
Don't get me wrong, I'd love to kill their prototype, but I don't think we have the luxury here. So minus three, minus three, for those that don't know, uh, get around indestructible. So if he sacks a creature to give the Yanni indestructible, it'd be a mistake. Yeah, we got a little bit of a mirror match going on here, but the opponent is splashing for white. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's going to be a huge first striker. We need to find our um, cell card. Get a 4 4 first strike. I don't think it's a 5 5 first strike. Yeah, I don't know if we can. Uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bit of a problem. We need to find our steel effect, I guess. Next. No, okay. Get this on the board in case we draw our steel effect, I guess. And we might actually start digging for it. Oh, I guess if we <laughs> tap this to sack a creature and we hit it off the top, it'll be really bad. So maybe we don't do that. I think it's correct, but god, it's gonna be so annoying. Most of our deck is three mana or less. I'm gonna try this. Oh, it only sacks artifacts. Wait, hold on. That's fine. Sack the mud. Sack the mud. Don't hit my apple. Free card, sure. We're doing things. We are doing things for sure. Get to find a land here. They're also doing things. This is an artifact? Yes, okay. <laughs> this can only sack artifacts. Got it, got it. Don't steal. No, oh, my apprentice, no. Oh. All right, back to dead. I have to die ing, I should say. Start off with the mutt. Pretty good. But I think I'd like to cast that and activate in the same turn if possible. So one, two, three, four. Four artifacts. This is costing us three mana. Yeah, so uh, we don't have enough. In that case, we play our puzzle knot and pass. And this can sacrifice target greats. Sacrifice an artifact target creature gets minus one, minus one. Each opponent discards a card. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait one turn. I, I think it's too important to make sure we can... Um... 
just uh, activate it right away, get rid of their arc bound. Dude, how does this work? <laughs> how do I manually cast this? Help. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Start. I guess we should just kill this right now. Oh, I'm still in full control. That's why it's getting so hard. This does let them put two counters on their prototype, which is annoying. But better than... Alright, so they messed up, kind of. I can sack another in response. Kind of a mess up, but they can still have a giant boy there. Yeah, so they put all the counters on their Scourger instead. Well, that's actually not that bad, because the minus three, minus three fizzled from this. Okay. Do I want to trade my Infiltrator for something? Probably not. Could attack my Rebel, though. Ah, let's wait one turn. I gotta discard some cards. Don't want to give him enough mana to maybe double spell. And the minus two, minus two from the anguish is still very relevant next turn. I'm glad we got to cast our rare too, or our mythic, I forgot. This was even in our deck. <laughs> And this is the end step, which is kind of crazy, too. I guess... Makes another treasure, scries this one. Just another sack. Yes, please. And steal their grab heat now. And then sack it to the Herald. Looking real good right now. Yeah, keep your stinky two to yourself, all right? <laughs> They're over it. All right, sweet. This deck is actually really sweet. Wow. Synergy all the way. Let's go. I want to play with a good hand. Still think we play on the tap line just to safer, even though we can't. Play the freebooter on turn one. Inspector! No! Thought I was done with MKM. Could sacrifice the bridge, put a counter on this <laughs> if we ever need to. No! I guess with the exile? I'm 
I feel okay with this. Let's get our tap land online. Next turn, play P Booter and the Salvager. Maybe attack for three. <laughs> Probably not attack for three. Activates only as a source free. But I don't want to sack my booter right now. Yeah, they're going pretty wide. Anything to buff their board might be pretty scary. We take three. We could sacrifice the rebooter, bring it back with the weld, replay it, sack it again. Is that too cute? <laughs> get a treasure. Back it, get a treasure. Bring it back, replay it. Alright, this might be dumb, but I'm going for it. A mutt. Oh, this scries. It doesn't go into the graveyard. The mutt's that great here. I'm doing it. I don't think we want that anymore. They have some kind of trick. Maybe I keep the Salvager back. Very top creature, don't do this to me. That was just a clue. Damn it. Missed five damage. No! <laughs> no! Oops. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. What has five damage ever mattered, right guys? No, if I was going for that play, I should have just sent it. Since I had already committed everything onto my two creatures here. We're looking for... Back a creature draw to. More chump blockers. That's also pretty annoying. I don't know if I have many ways. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Oh god. Uh, we did find Black a creature draw to, but I don't think it's gonna be good enough. You have to find removal for the steel, I think, there. Three 
six. <laughs> they could just chump forever. But look how big my infiltrator is, dude. In your face. I'm huge. Guess we're sacking my own land as well. Not quite yet, though. <laughs> I'm trying to think. The only way I have to kill the steel is to steal the steel. And then sack it, so. Or if we draw our mythic, that might be good enough as well. Okay, how all in is this? You have 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I can put 1, 2, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I could totally get this infiltrator out of range. Yellow. I'll sack both my companions as well. If I die on the backswing. Not my problem. Send them. Send them, baby. Again, an equipped cloud steel though. <laughs> it has a huge problem. Especially since we have no lands anymore. For now, no block. Yep. So we really just need our steel card. Our steel card, we win the game. No steel card, we lose the game. <laughs> Apple one time, please. Apple me. You can't. You can't lose the game, your opponents can't win the game. Apple, Apple, you might have another turn after this, but probably not. Apple me. That is not an apple. All right. One turn. No! That win the game. Damn. I mean, how? It was, it was cool. It was a good game. That was a good game. Stupid rares. It's a keepable hand.
been looking for some land though. Two mana, two, three, we're dead. Put two counters on Joyra. Then you may put an artifact card with mana X or less from your hand onto the battlefield or X is the number of counters. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> we're very likely to be dead here. Maybe we dig then. I think we'll have time to play all of those. Damn it. Well, the other issue is we don't have red yet, so even if we draw our bolt, we can't kill this. But yeah, I'm gonna get. Yeah, they're. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's anything we can do about this. That's just. Uh... That's just magic for you. Now they get to play a 4 mana artifact, probably, in addition to anything else in their hand. Oh, 5, 6, that's really cheap because they have plenty of artifacts on the board. Good, I mean. At least we get a treasure. <laughs> what am I looking for? Nothing. There's nothing. Just the bolt, I guess, for a small chance. All right, let's just let's speed through this. Let's speed through this. Isn't this an instant speed? Oh my god! Holy moly, they can! This is insane. Wait, what? They didn't do it. They should, have, they should have at least put two counters on that, right? <laughs> Probably not gonna matter. Oh. Guess they don't have any artifacts to play, so. Guess it's just a 2 3 at this point. <laughs> yeah, 2 5 6 or so. Good, pretty good. Small chance? I'm gonna sack three creatures. I mean, we do get their last card, which is nice. Sack three artifacts to give something. Okay, okay, we're. We're back in this. Kind of. We need to kill their apprentice now. Let some draw cards. Oh, this is until your next turn. I thought it was until end of turn. Target artifact from your green to your head. They're popping off. I mean, they've been popping up, but take five here. I think we play one weld and hold open two activations of Herald. Yeah, give me back the Mire. <laughs> Aha, discard your card. Really tempting to kill that apprentice, but I think if I kill it, I do it at the end of their turn to stop them attacking 
with the serpents, hopefully. must have something, but... I make these into four threes. I sacked three things. Don't hurt me. I'm hoping they just messed up here. Didn't really think about their blocks, but what to find out. Oh, I messed up. Dang it. Should have. No. Wait, wait, wait. We can buy it back. We can buy it back. We can buy it back. We're okay. We're so okay. I did. <laughs> We're okay-ish. We're okay-ish. Ah, this actually might have been better for us because these implicators are getting huge. Can't cast it out quite yet. <laughs> Yo! Thank God for Harold. Yo, I thought we were cooked as soon as I saw um, Joro. Joro? The Ageless Innovator. 5-1. Oh, we're so back, guys. We're so back. Good hunt. 1-2-3. On the draw, though. Excuse me. I thought we were done. We're done with that format as well. Go back to the caves. Don't tell me I'm going to lose to a K2 flyer. You better not buff, I swear to. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right, stupid lad. Let's so go against blue-white artifacts. I'd like to find my automaton, please. It's been a while. It's pausing with one mana. Honestly, I have no idea what's in this format. That could mean many things. A bounce spell. A minus X minus O. <laughs> Ooh. That's... Yeah, the courier is pretty good. All right, your deck's pretty good. I'll give you that. All right, you also have a very good start. You don't have double white, so you're never going to be able to cast this arrest. Am I right, guys? Uncastable? Whenever a artifact enters the battlefield, this becomes a 4-4 artifact creature until end of turn. Yeah, this might be up to race. Yes, attack with the Siren. Hopefully we get a counter with our map. Let's 
Then I can attack with both of these guys, but if we can play an artifact to instant speed, they get me here. Just kidding. The wrestler! I talked about the wrestler during the. Oh. The wrestler. <laughs> okay, we're all ending on this anguish, I guess. Harold, save me one more time. Let they have a citizen's arrest in their hand. <laughs> no, we're cooked. I got too confident. All right, now we know. Now we know. I mean, we already knew this was. <laughs> we already saw this during the draft, so um, oops on my part for sure. Oops on my part for sure. But I mean, their curve is really good. Probably gonna lose anyways, right? Right, guys. Even if I didn't attack, we were dead. So does it really matter? Okay, so I can't play this anguish because it just gets exiled. Emergency weld. <laughs> My infiltrator and maybe they'll... They gotta hope they said it's, it's arrested or something. Yeah, let's do it. Bring back my freebooter. Don't want to think so. Do I just kill my infiltrator with your arrest? Excuse me, my deck is supposed to be the best deck here. What is this craziness? I'm supposed to be the synergy guy? We're cooked. We're so cooked. <laughs> Do it. Exile my infiltrator. Give me a glimmer of hope, please. I beg of you. A lifelink modular? Alright, alright, alright. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. <laughs> Get me out of this game. Alright, five and two. Okay, let's not try to get cooked and instead do some cooking. And it's questionable, but I think it's keepable. We got our rare in hand. Can't mulligan it, right? Turn one artifact. Cheat. You're cheating. This also becomes an artifact. Double cheat, dude. Judge the opponent's playing cards. Judge the opponent's rapping on the play. Help. Alright, alright. What are we doing? Dispute into genius. Puzzle not into genius. By dispute, I meant infiltrator. I think we'll just have the infiltrator on the board. At least we do some incidental sackage. 3 3 flyer. Good bolt target. But I'd like to get the genius online first. Sacrifice a creature or an artifact. Brother, that thing is massive. Help! <laughs> what the hell? That's a 5-5, five five, dude! Okay. What can we do? What can we do here? Play this, we have 3 mana left. Like a creature... Five five that grows. Good. Good, 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 good. It's all good. It's all good. Fine. 
maybe maybe some of this. <laughs> Get a little bit of this. Maybe we can kill him in one shot somehow. Good spell. Good, 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 good. This is sorcery, it's only a sorcery. Okay, okay. So we do block here. Not be taking that much damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more land lets us cast the anguish. Or are we could just obliterating bolt. And keep open the dispute. How much damage can we do with this? We have a bound spell anyway, so I mean obviously playing that isn't great. Okay. They're just really tempting to get that last card out of their hand. Get in there, my infiltrator. Save me. Good, 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 good. Yeah, food. Are we dead? They bounce, they can't really cast it, they don't have double green, do they? Okay, so we can't cast that. We bounce this, we take seven damage. But what are we looking for then? We need to find both a way to sack and a way to steal the plunderers. Or we can let this happen. Sack our infiltrator. Topic with food is that's that relevant? It's a little relevant. Do we have any timeouts? I don't know. Yeah, we got a timeout. Seven. <laughs> yeah, word. We're in trouble. God, these lad artifact lands didn't make their thing a flyer. I was hoping they try to bounce my infiltrator first. They didn't. So I get got here, I guess, but... Plus nine life. Oh, I can make it 1-1 one, one now. It's good. For the future. this just bounce it dude they just bounce it I don't think we play it yet okay, 
to play it yet. I want to make sure I can activate the puzzle knot as well. So I could sack the map, maybe? We still have two maps. Yeah, okay, let's sack the map. That's actually good enough as well, I think. Okay. Push a little bit of damage at least. Yeah, <laughs> this simulacrum is very, very scary as well. Oh yeah, they can create treasures. Okay, so they can bring back the simulacrum this turn. I don't think it's a huge deal, because it we have enough blockers, but next turn I should probably get the anguish on the board then. Oh, if they get the thunder flying. Oh. <laughs> ah, we couldn't win then, really, right? Oh, okay, wait, 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 they didn't give a flying cold, hold. Chance, chance, small chance. That gives something plus one, plus one, I'm flying. Good to know. A plus nine life. I hope they don't have a removal for this, but we do get their last card now. Can I just attack with the Infiltrator? Just an island? Just an island. Sure. Probably just dead or something. Wow, what a draw. Or your creature gets plus one, plus one until I Oh, this doesn't give I thought this gave a creature plus one, plus one. I'm flying. Okay, just give it flying. Okay, they don't have lethal here. Oh, they still have three mana though. Oh, wait, that's fine, right? It's all fine ish. Fine to an extent. The second artifact, though. Do we have lethal somehow? We can activate this three times, right? Four, five, six, seven. No, we don't have enough things to sack, right? Yeah, we don't have enough things to sack. What can we weld back? What can we weld back? <laughs> it's a puzzle knot. I think I gotta take the puzzle knot because non artifact spells cost a little more. Maybe that didn't matter though. Treasure enters the battlefield under your control. Other pirates get plus one plus one. Other pirates. I think that's whatever. Uh, 
Okay. God, this game is close. I guess I could attack the infiltrator. So it's fine. We actually killed our flyer, so they have one less flyer to block with here. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is lethal now. We can sack these two, kill that. We swing out, we kill this, we kill this. They get one fly. I think this is lethal. Okay. Wait. <laughs> I can't tell if this is lethal. Okay, we swing out. They kill with their flyers, they're taking five. That's not lethal because they can block all over and they have life on the battlefield, damn it. Old food, just three. It's okay. Ooh, we got a spell. Counter spell. <laughs> Unless they paid three. <laughs> okay, used their food. They're at nine life. God, this might be some of the most grindiest games I've played in a while. It's a nice break from MKM. <laughs> Equal to the number of artifacts you control, that's fine. You have to sack two things to kill that bow. It's not a blink moth, right? Is it better to keep it but get a treasure? I've already played my freebooter. Just Sack the power stone then, but this power stone's better if I hit another artifact. I don't know. <laughs> now are they dead? Not quite. But they have to chump, so we attack with both of these. If they don't block this eight, we can sack something to kill them, hopefully.
This makes another 1-1 one, one blocker. That's great. Okay. <laughs> Harold. <laughs> You're saving me. <laughs> Woo! Mythic for another win. This might actually be a mulligan, but we still got a 2-3. Pretty much land. Temple's nice if we draw any sack effect, which we have a lot of. But we're 6-2. and two. This is the final boss. Their deck's probably real good as well. Yeah, I think our deck can just do so much better than that hand. Like this, question mark? Just the weld, I guess. Yeah, we just need something to trigger this uh, revolt and... That shouldn't matter too much against my deck. Remember, put a cast their first non-creature spell each turn. Draw a card unless they pay X. For X is the Sentinel's power. A bunch of one power creatures is kind of annoying. Guess we have the photographer to sack and then revolt. Okay. Maybe I should just play them. Meyer there saves me one HP. <laughs> okay, never mind. They didn't attack the Sentinel anyways. Uh oh, they are ramping, and it's pretty scary. Just another blue white deck. Oh, that's what did us in last time, right? Oh no. And they have access to six mana. That's not too bad. Got it. It's revoltable, at least. This being a 3 2 goes hard. Mutt. It's not bad. Because next turn we can just play the two twos. Yeah, okay. Not great, though. Does it go in the graveyard? Okay, okay, let's go to the graveyard. Get some, get some unearth value later. All right, all right. And this kills their flyer, hopefully. Dude, vengeful rebel, rebel has been so good. And yeah, I don't mind trading for their mire now. it. Deal. Value. The value. Three clue pop pog. Yeah, screw your sentinel, buddy. I don't have nine creature spells in this deck. Oh no. This I don't know. This card's nuts from what I remember. Uh what does I do? I want it. So four mirrored in, three mana, two, two, and this equips to it. Um, when it becomes attached to a creature for as long as the blade of shared souls remains tapped, you may have that creature become a copy of another creature you control. Okay. It's not scary yet. It could be very scary in the future. Yes, we pitch our apt land, even though it is an artifact land. Nothing to suck. Right. Get in there, mutt. Let's go. Feel great about trading, but I don't think we can take too much damage.
Raiders, good draw. Again, I like putting it on the rebel because these grow by themselves. Obviously, have something. <laughs> Nothing. And counter my sire. Does it have haste? No. Alright, we might kill them with the genius. Is everything plus one attack and menace? There's something fishy going on over there. Maybe white is their splash color? I don't know. They might have a board wipe, but I don't think I can afford to play around it, really. Like, if they wipe our board, and we have a genius in our hand, I don't think it's going to get us there anyways. Oh, did I miss lethal? Oh, I could have activated this ability right away. Yeah, I might have missed lethal there, guys. Damn. This is not a tap ability. Oops. I don't know why I thought it was a tap ability. So if I played the genius first, I would have given everything plus one attack and menace last turn. I might still have it here, but hopefully we draw a creature. Oh, that kind of counts. They can afford to pay one. Send them. I don't think this is quite lethal. We can double block my infiltrator. But they probably would have been dead this turn if I had played the genius the previous turn. So now I gave them another turn for an out to find some outs here. All right. solved format guys uh great to be back thank you guys for watching uh see y'all next time seven wins baby